come with me to a place of wondrous contradictions. A place that is silent and unstirring, yet restless and alive. A place of untold peace and boundless dread. Come with me into the very cradle of darkness, where those who dwell, dwell alone. The reluctant subject of these photographs is rock and roll legend Nikki the Snake Man Van Adder. Seven years ago, he walked away from the music business, trying to escape the public eye. And this is the public eye. Fran Rayburn, once a promising photojournalist, now scraping by as a third-rate paparazzo. But that's all about to change. These are amazing, Franny. I knew you'd like them. After all the years you've been stalking Van Adder, not one clear shot of his face. What do you expect? The man makes Michael Jackson look like a press hound. And I resent the word stalking. What else would you call it? Oh, God, spare me the ethics lessons, Bear. Nicky Van Adder was a drunk. The man electrocuted himself in his bathtub playing the guitar. What's happened to you, Franny? Once upon a time, you had scruples. Yeah, once upon a time, you and I were an item. Things change, Bear. Come on, buy a picture for old time's sake. Sorry, Franny, no can do. All right, look, your magazine's doing an obituary tribute, right? What do you think they pay for something special? Such as? Such as a recent shot of the snake man? How recent? Oh, say, post-mortem. For something that tasteless, that low, the sky's the limit. <laughs> it's just what I wanted to hear. Eddie, no one knows where they're holding that body. Come on, baby, if anyone can find that funeral home, you can. Come on, Billy. You owe me big time for that Madonna tip I gave you. Come on, Ziggy, you don't give me excuses. Give me an address. Yeah, trust me, sweetie, you know I'll take care of you. Yeah, bye. So sorry I started you, Miss Rayburn. Who, who are you? How did you get in here? The door was open. Yeah, well, what do you want? Word has it you're looking for Nicholas Van Adder's last remains. Maybe. What's it to you? That's where they've taken him. Yeah, how do I know this is for real? Oh, <laughs> it's real. A friend of mine drove the hearse. Security's tight. You won't get in without a cover story. Yeah, I'll come up with something. Maybe I can help you. A woman named Rose Del Motto used to Mr. Van Adder's makeup. They're expecting her tonight at nine. I believe I can arrange for you to take her place. Oh, yeah, well, what's in it for you? Dedication to one's craft is such a rare quality these days. After all the years you've been hunting him down, I figure you should get what you deserve. Yeah, look, Mr. Uh, Flash. Th Just call me Flash. <laughs> yeah, assuming this address checks out, Mr. Flash, what's it going to cost me? I trust you, Miss Rayburn. You you pay me what you think is fair. Ordinarily, Miss Del Motto, I do all the cosmetology, but the Van Adder people wanted a specialist. Do you know the deceased well? Oh, you could say I was sort of like his shadow. It's an honor for our establishment to serve an artist in Mr. Van Adder's magnitude. I understand he had a passion for privacy. Rest assured, we'll do everything to protect it. I think you would have appreciated that. I was about to begin the embalming when you arrived. Don't let me stop you. As you know, we're making every effort to ensure that nothing mars the dignity of tomorrow's proceedings. As an additional precaution, we have hired round-the-clock security. We're aware that Mr. Van Adder's notoriety tracks vultures. Vultures? The media, they rarely gave him any rest in this life. 
Miss Delmato? No, I'll be fine. Thanks. Oh, no. It's the smell of the formaldehyde. I'll get you a nice glass of water. You're too kind. Hey, Nikki, remember me? This time I expect your full cooperation. Okay. Okay, now let's see that wicked tattoo. You're white as a sheet. Take deep breaths. Deep breaths. Thanks, I'll be fine. I'm sorry, it's the smell it gets to some people. Make yourself comfortable. I'll let you know when Mr. Van Adder's ready. Shepherd. Hey, Bear. Guess where I am? In a supply closet right across from the embalming room. Let's start talking prices. Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're actually at the funeral home. I was thinking somewhere in the low six figures. I'll even throw in a candlelight dinner for two. I don't believe this. You mean you took a picture of his corpse? <laughs> Let's just say I was interrupted, but I'll get the shot. Count on it. Franny, get out of there before you wind up in jail. Not until I've captured the snake man for posterity. Bye. Bye. I like to give the impression that they just drifted off into a calm, restful sleep. That's Betsy, his guitar. They're to be buried together. I'll be in my office. Come on, Fran, just relax. <gasps> just in your head, Fran. It's just in your head. Dead rock stars don't open their eyes and sit up. You're just letting your imagination run away with you, Fran. Just stay calm. You're gonna get the shot. There's nothing to worry about. You're just, you're just stressed. You're, you're tired. You're just hearing things. Just chill out, Fran. Just stay focused here. Everything all right? Of course, it's fine. I was just going back in to finish his makeup. No, he's not done yet. The still motto, please step aside. No, he's not ready, Nikki's extremely sensitive about presentation. Oh. I uh, owe you an apology. Don't worry about it. Well. Since this is the way he wanted to be remembered, I think he's ready for casketing.
I know Mr. Markov will be pleased with your work. Who? Mr. Van Adder's business manager? Yeah, right, right, sure, his business manager, of course. I guess this uh, just about wraps it up for me. Don't worry about me, I'll uh, find my own way out. Yeah. Hey, Bauer, you're never gonna believe this. Franny, don't tell me you're still there. The man is not dead. I mean, he is, but, but he isn't. What are you talking about? He's sitting up, he's opening his eyes, he's, he's playing riffs on his guitar. It's like he won't sit still for a picture. Did somebody put acid in your Irish coffee? God, Barry, I am serious here. I don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what to do. Get out of there now. Yeah, but that is just what Van Adder wants. Franny, listen to yourself. You're losing it. Yeah, 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 maybe you're right, Bear. Maybe you're right. Hey, tell me something, Bear. If your magazine is willing to pay six figures for a shot of Van Adder dead, what's it worth for a shot of his corpse taking a stretch? That's it. Where are you, Fran? I'm coming over there right now. Go buy the champagne, sweetie. I'll call you when I get the shot. Things up there in rock and roll heaven. Everybody up there? Janice, Hendrix, Elvis, Sid. We are gonna be bigger than any of them, Nikki. And I can make it happen for you. One picture, that's all it takes. Come on. Okay, so you dropped out. You needed a break, fine. You're dead now. It's time to start thinking about the future. Okay, look, can I be honest here? If you don't work with me to turn this thing around, you're just gonna be remembered as another burnout who couldn't hack it. Is that what you want, huh? Come on. Come on, Nikki. You wanna play games? Play some games. Come on. Sit up, strum your guitar, anything. Come on. Fine, don't move. No skin off my nose. Portrait of a loser.
to be the villains while you play the poor innocent victims. Will you people need us as much as we need you? Oh, I, I can explain. I, I made a mistake. You made a mistake, all right. Rose Del Mato died in an auto accident. What? I spoke to Mr. Markov. He doesn't know who you are. But I do. Even in death, he's not safe. Give me the film or I bring trespassing charges. Sorry, this falls under the public's right to know. Uh. Uh. Hey, Bear. Got your checkbook handy? I've been worried sick. Please tell me you're home. I'm home, and I didn't return empty-handed. You got the shot? And, sweetie, when you see it, you're gonna freak. Barry. What? Congratulate me. Admit I'm the best. Congratulations, Fran. This is an all-time low for you. But you still love me, right? At a six-figure price? I think you sold your soul cheap. Well, if you feel that way about it, maybe you shouldn't buy the picture. Plenty of other magazines out there with money to burn. I'll be there in an hour. Make it two. Been a long night. Gotcha, Snake Man. <gasps> what the hell's wrong with you? Don't you believe in knocking? I just stopped by to see how things went. Oh, well, uh, to be honest, it, it didn't go very well. I'm distressed to hear that. Was my information incorrect? Oh, no, it wasn't that. It was just, well, you know, there were some problems. You must be very disappointed. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. That's so true, isn't it? If I didn't know better, I'd say that was Mr. Van Adder. Uh, yeah, well, it's not a really good angle of him, so I'm not going to get much for it. I thought we were dealing in good faith here, Miss Rayburn. Look, let's say I write you a check for 500 bucks. How's that sound, huh? You certainly are a talented photographer. <sighs> All right, I'll go as high as 750, okay? Bet you went through hell to get that. A thousand bucks, Mr. Flash. Take it or leave it. You don't understand, Miss Rayburn. I'm not interested in cash. What are you talking about? You haven't given me a day's peace in five and a half years. Not even in death. Now, it's time to return the favor. action has a consequence. Fran Raver made a living stealing pictures of unwilling subjects, but in her eagerness to turn a profit, she neglected to calculate the cost to her own sanity.